All right, let's just make sure this bullshit's actually working this time because I'm not doing that again. Um, my second attempt to make a video about this as my first one was recorded in a format that I could not use. So thank you, OBS. Anyways, um, I wanted to make a video talking about uh, NBA 2K21 and why you shouldn't pre-order this godforsaken game. So 2K21 um, is, is just going to be a disaster again this year. Uh, if you don't understand why, well, I'll, I'll try to explain just some of the basic points of it. But essentially, before we get started, you need to know a few things. Xbox is announcing a feature called Xbox Smart Delivery, which is basically going to be a feature where they are promising you that no matter what console you own right now, you don't have to buy a separate version of a game to get the best version of it when you eventually buy a Xbox Series X. That's a promise they've made that developers can choose to opt into. One of the big ones has been CD Projekt Red with uh, Cyberpunk 2077. It's set to be one of the biggest games of probably this decade. Uh, and they're like, hey, you should never have to pay for the same game twice. Why would you ever need to do that? It's the same game. And for those of you on console, that probably sounds like a relief. For those of us on console and on PC, that that should just be how it is. It shouldn't be like a special promise that you have to make for, for developers and all that. So while CD Projekt Red is being generous and saying, yeah, we don't want more money for the same game, <sighs> leave it to 2K. They have completely found a way to manipulate their base uh, of, of people who just want to play basketball. You know, they just want to play a basketball game. Maybe they want to play it by themselves. Maybe they want to play by, with, you know, with their friends. Um, they know that they're the only fucking option you have. So um, if you haven't seen this yet, I'm going to put it up on screen here for you in just a moment. But NBA 2K has launched a very complicated uh, graph or chart for which version of NBA 2K21 you should buy. Now, it probably goes without saying, but if you have to make a chart to help explain what version of NBA 2K21 you need to buy... I think you're probably doing too much. So um, let's start out with the most atrocious thing of all. And this goes back to my original opening point is that if you buy the current version of 2K21, the current gen version, which has Damian Lillard on the cover for 60 US dollars, uh, it releases on September 4th, as you can see here on this chart, you're going to get a few pre-order bonuses. Well, if you look to the right of that, you have the 2K21 Mamba Forever Edition, which so, so disgustingly uses Kobe Bryant's likeness to sell the most expensive version of this game at a hundred US dollars. Well, that is your starting price to get this same game on next gen consoles when they release in holiday of uh, 2020. Well, with that comes a couple other pre-order bonuses. So one of the big ones that people always usually get when they pre-order is VC. Uh, their fake currency that 2K created to monetize this game to death and milk every goddamn dollar that you have out of this game. The whole experience is, is built around VC. It's built to make you want to spend money. Everything about it is built that way. Don't don't mistake it for anything else. This game is designed to take the most money it can out of your pocket. Well, let's say you're, you know, an adult like me, or maybe you're a parent and you bought this game for your kid, or maybe you're just a teenager who wanted to buy this game themselves because this game is going to be rated E for everyone even though it has gambling in it. That's a different story. Um you get your pre-order bonus, you get your 100,000 VC, you go Time to get to work. Let's go. Let's go make my my player. Let's get on YouTube and look at these fucking YouTubers who make thumbnails like this. Saying they found the best build in the game and all that shit when the game's been out for two days. You go and do that. You get your player built. You spent your VC. How are you going to feel when you find out that none of your shit carries over to the next gen 
consoles. Yeah, you're probably going to be pretty mad and you're probably going to be really upset about it. Uh, if you spend any extra money or if you spend your VC bonus uh, that you earned, none of that carries over to 2K21 on next gen, including your my player. So if you spent all this time grinding, let's say you went out and you just did God's work and you made the best my player you possibly could. You sunk hours into this goddamn game because with COVID, you're not going anywhere else. You just sit back and relax and play some 2K and, and just grind. Well, as soon as fucking December hits and you get that next gen console, your player is not going to be there. It's gone. It's done skis. And, well, maybe it would make up for it if maybe the VC you spent was reimbursed to you so you could make your player again. You know, the fake currency that does not exist in any physical form. Uh, yeah, no, they're not going to do that for you. Uh, the head of the 2K subreddit confirmed that none of that shit carries over. Not a thing. And if you spent it, you lose it. Okay, well, then what's your incentive for pre-ordering this game at all? You, you have to just sit there and wait for the next gen version to come out before you should spend any of your VC is what they're basically saying. Do you think that they're going to give you a warning when you boot up the game for the first time that, Hey, in a few months you won't be able to use this again. If you get next gen, no, they're not. They are counting on you not knowing that and they're counting on not telling you that so that they can get more money. It's really simple and really shady and it's a scam. And 2k, 2K knows what they're doing. They're they're well aware that they get all the money if they find a way to monetize this, and this is just another way of doing it. This is their newest scam to getting the most money out of this game possible. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a bad time for a lot of people, and a lot of people are going to lose a lot of money on this bullshit game. That's my short little video, my short little rant. We'll see you next time.